how I thought I should show uh, the process of my next picture. This time is a traditional traditional one. So <laughs> we'll make it with patience. Uh, I thought it's interesting because I want to make it uh, as much as traditional as I can and uh, with watercolor so uh, I want to show uh, the liquid masking film. It's uh, a very useful tool to cover uh, an area to not paint on it. So this is the the tool, the masking, and it's very easy to use. Yes, a uh, bottle and a brush. The more important thing is to use a very old brush that you don't use it anymore or buy the cheapest brush you can find uh, for this because once you start using the masking this is going to happen like uh, let me found here there is rest of the masking all over the brush even if you uh, clean it with soap and meticulously to matter uh, this masking this type of masking will ruin your brush so use uh, only one brush for it and um, as I say the cheapest one this is a uh, uh, fake filament ones. Uh, I think the best uh, is uh, some brush like this because you can cover big areas and small areas. So let me show you. Okay, for the masking is uh, very important to mix it very well um, this is how it looks it's uh, very easy to use just take a bit and paint the area you want to save as I say, you can cover the areas or you can make small ones It's very important, I like to cover it very well because uh, maybe when you pass the bruise we let uh, areas without covering and then you paint over it and discover that it wasn't made very well so I pass over it sometimes uh, during is wet because when it's uh, dry it's very easy to take the, the mask Yes, if you never try it, uh, the best the best thing to learn is like this: uh, take a uh, white paper and try to test how it works. Now you have to lift it uh, to dry. What is very important is not to let uh, the bruise like this when you finish. Just uh, go quick to clean it, to save the bruise as more as you can. Let's see, this is what I mean. There is always like, it's 
small pieces of the dry masking everywhere. Once you have this, just let it uh, dry and you will have something like this. This is the, the drawing I'm going to do. And this is now dry. So it's like a rubber. In this case, I'm going to make the background with watercolors and I'm going to use salt to make some effects. So for the background This is a specific masking for watercolors, so don't be, uh, don't worry about uh, how the water it will it uh, will not take the the masking. So since I'm going to make some gradients, I'm going to write the paper out <laughs> um, yes put color for big uh, backgrounds it's better to have a big bruise it will make it easier to paint For the salt effect, just throw a bit of salt. I put in that part because I want it to be less colored, so I wanna work in this half while the salt make the effect. So I will just let it dry and follow with a few more layers and let's see what it comes. So now that it's uh, dry, I try to take it out all the salt I can. And this is how it looks. These textures. 
are made by the soul and it's time to take the mask so carefully with the finger just remove it it's very easy but you have to be uh, to do with to do carefully to not take the the paper And the final result. So, as you can see, uh, here I didn't cover it very well, and the paint uh, is in a place I, I didn't want it to be, but, but it's not that bad. I think it has a solution. So, here it is. It's very easy to do and I hope it, this tutorial has been useful for someone.